Hello, hello, Nikki here, and I'm super, super excited to get your P&Ls, your goals, your objectives, and your Kaya Girl count in just 10 days. So it is the 5th. This is your friendly reminder email and also your motivation. So we have this really fun uh, one Kaya Girl challenge. So we're going to do a one Kaya Girl challenge all the way until August. So all of you lucky participants who turned in your goals, your objectives, your P&Ls last month on the 15th, you got put in as a bonus round for our challenge. So you didn't even have to grow by one. But the great news is 26 of you had grown substantially uh, for the month of December. And so for Christmas, that's awesome, you guys. I'm super, super proud of you. So um, what we're doing is every month when you turn in your objectives, your goals, your P&Ls, and your numbers, you get put in for a raffle. So then we get to choose a raffle. I'm not going to look. See who the lucky winner is. And it's Tara from Solana Beach. Yay, Tara. So Tara wins a one free pass for the paddleboard event. So she gets to come up. She's got one free pass and you guys have a chance to win every single month. The great news is if you just grow by one, so say, you know, if you had 50, VIPs, so it has to be VIPs, 50 VIPs for the month of December, and then you turn in your P&Ls February 15th for your January numbers, and you were at 51, you get a raffle in here. And then we pick, so you'll see the next video is going to be the next winner. If you submit every single month until July, and you grow just by one, not a big deal, just by one VIP every single month, then no matter what, you are a winner and you get two paddleboard passes uh, for the event. So mark your calendars, make sure everybody comes with us. You can also trade your paddleboard event for you know a little sweatshirt or something like that, but we'd much rather have you join us for the event. Okay, so that's how the One Kaya Girl Challenge goes. Um, Make sure that you're just focused on just growing one. Easy peasy. One. Really focus, focus, focus on retention. So getting towards the end of brick, you know, what are your fun things and what are you promoting to get your girls to stay for the Awaken course? So hopefully you guys listened to the webinar um, today, but you know, what our focus for retention is, is bring a friend Saturday. So every Saturday, we're doing really fun workouts, really great uh, run, um, half run, half power hour, but really fun partner workout. And then if your partner signs up, everybody gets the cute shirt. So we have, everybody has the, the black and pink Kaya shirt. So you get a black and pink Kai shirt and your girlfriend, whoever signs up, gets the black and pink Kai shirt plus $25 for a referral. We take pictures. We, we're so happy. Um, and then as far as retention, also anybody who's not signed up for VIP, we definitely call them. We, you know, get them to get really excited about what we've going on what we've got going on for the next session. We're doing like girls night out, which is going to be really fun. We're doing one night of jam at each location where we have a strobe light and we're all going to like turn out the lights and just have so much fun. We're going to bring kayak cocktails, non-alcoholic of course, and just party, party away. So those are some of our little fun things for retention. Um, as far as marketing, we're picking one partner that we'd really like to partner up with. So in Minden, we're focusing on GE. And in Carson, we're focusing on the hospital. So those are the two that we're really gonna, going to um, offer, of course, the, the big discount for the corporate discount and just, you know, get those relationships and, and partnerships up. We're also starting our big I Can Run. So right when Brick's over, we've got 11 weeks to do I Can Run. So that is another thing that's fun and a way to kind of retain your girls. It's always like FOMO, like fear of missing out. What are the fun things that you're going to be doing that they do not want to miss? Okay, so I think that's it. So everybody right now, make me a promise that you're going to get your P&Ls done. And then, oh yeah, for your objectives. So you guys, please be specific. So it's hard for me when I'm looking at objectives and they say, 
you know, I'm going to connect with people in the community. Well, it's very hard for me to see if that worked, if that is something that's measurable, um, and, you know, to decide if that's a, a good use of your time. So with your objectives, I just want three things that are going to move your Kaya girls forward. So if it is, you know, a partnership in the community, who are you partnering with? What are you doing? And how many girls do you expect from it? And then next month, and you can let me know, like, oh, this worked or this did not work. This brought in one Kaya girl or this brought in, you know, nine or ten, you know, and then we can either build on it or we can decide to maybe go in another direction. Okay, so let me know if you need anything at all. Oh, I also forgot too. Another part of our fun uh, challenge is if you have got to that 100 VIP girls, um, even if you've had them for a long time, um, I've made a commitment to come and coach all your morning classes and to take you to lunch. So please uh, email me with maybe three different dates within the next couple months and I will be there. I can do a workshop. I can just coach your classes, free payroll, whatever it is. Um, and then, you know, we can connect at lunch. So mwah! I'll see you soon. And I can't wait to see your goals and objectives. Have a great day.